Hey everyone, in this video, we will learn how we can extract data from an XML using Power Automate. So if you ever had a situation where you are getting data from a web service or any uh, other system in XML format, and you want to extract the data from that XML and have it available for further analysis. So if you have such requirement, and if you're wondering how you can automatically do all of that, let me show you. So what I have here, I have a SharePoint site where I have created one document library called customer orders. And in this library, I'm receiving these different XML file for the orders of different customers. And this XML look like this, right? Pretty standard XML with all the customer information and the order detail. Now, what I want that as soon as I receive this XML file, there should be some automated process that can go through this XML file, extract the data, and update my order detail list. And as you can see here in this list, I have column for each different information that I'm receiving in XML, okay? So let me first show you how this work, and then we will learn how you can create something similar to this one. So I'm going to upload a file and I uploaded the file. Now I have a flow behind the scene that is going to trigger uh, based on the file created in that library. And it is gonna start going through the XML file and start uploading the information in this SharePoint list. And as you can see here, the data is dispopulated. And if I open this XML file, you can see the data, what I am getting in this order is already populated into my SharePoint list. Now I have the data available. I can create a report on top of this data. I can export it in Excel and do more analysis and do much more with this data. So if you are interested doing something like this and want to know how I have created this example, stay tuned. Hello everyone, I'm Deepak Shrivastav and welcome to my channel. And as you have seen in the intro part of this video that how I have created a solution where I was going through an XML file, extracting the data for out of that and updating a SharePoint list. So let's learn how you can create something like that. To start with, let's uh, create a flow. We already have the document library where we are gonna have our XML file available. So our flow trigger is going to be based on a new file created in this library. And we are still going to update this SharePoint list. Okay. So I'm logged into the flow.microsoft.com. I'm going to start creating a new flow. So click create. And we are going to select automated flow because we want this automatically start as soon as you get the XML file. So the trigger that we are going to use here is when a file is created property only. Okay, click create. So my flow is created and now it is asking me that what is your trigger for this flow. So I'm going to select the URL of my SharePoint and the library name where I'm going to upload the file. So that's the customer orders that we have. And the next step, we know that uh, we are going to upload an XML file there and the trigger is only going to give me the property of that newly created file. So I need to get the content. So the next action that we need here is SharePoint action. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use get file content. Again, site address here is going to be the site address of my SharePoint site. And the file identifier is you can get it from the trigger search for that and select this okay so this action will give me the content now we need to just get the content in the right xml format so the next action that we need is compose and in here we are going to use an expression expression is very simple just search for xml so what this xml expression or function is going to do it's gonna convert 
or format the string value that you are passing into it to a XML format. Okay, so the string that we are going to pass in this one is the file content. So what we are saying, whatever is the file content, format that into a well formatted XML. So now we got the XML. Now we are going to use another compose. In this compose, the expression that we are going to use called JSON. As we have used the XML to format or convert the input string to an XML format, the JSON is going to do the same thing. It is going to convert the string that we are passing into this function to a JSON format. And good thing about here is I can pass the XML that I'm getting in the previous compose. So if I pass that XML to this JSON, what I'm going to get, I'm going to get a well formatted JSON object. Now, what we, why we are doing this? The reason why we are doing this, because it is easy to read and uh, get the information from a JSON in the Power Automate as compared to actual XML using XPath. So from the dynamic content, I'm going to use the output of this previous compose. Click OK. Now let's save it and I'm going to run it right now. OK, and the reason why I'm running it right now, because I need to show you the output of these action that we have already used here. OK, so I'm going to upload the file and let's wait for this flow to get triggered. OK, so flow got triggered and it also got completed quickly. So let's go to that flow and let's see what we have received and what all those three different actions that we have created uh, provided output. So when a file is created, again, this is going to give us all the information. Get file content. And as you can see here, I'm getting all that XML. Convert to XML. As you can see here, now it is converted to a well formatted XML file. And then our next action where we actually trying to convert this XML to the JSON. And as you can see here, it is now well formatted JSON. Now, once you have this JSON object, what you can do, you can parse this information so that it can be easily understood by the flow. And what I mean by understood, because right now, if you try to extract, let's say, customer ID, flow will not know because you have not tell the flow that what is the structure of the JSON file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this output. OK, so keep a copy of it. Add it to the flow. Click on News tab and search for parse JSON. We're going to use this one. It's going to ask the content, which content we wanted to parse as a JSON. And we are going to select the previous step. That's the second compose. So output of the JSON and the schema. OK, so you remember we have copied the output from this JSON uh, compose action. So click on uh, here, generate from sample and paste your information here and click done. And as soon as you do that, it will create this structure. What happening here, based on the response, it actually created a structure so that now Flow can understand how to read this response. If I go again and click on Compose, and as you can see here, the parse JSON output is having all of these different fields that I have in my XML, and I can read all of them easily. I can just select the field, and it will give me the information. As compared to if I move this before the parse JSON, I want to see that. So as you can see here, I am not seeing those fields that I was seeing after the parse JSON. So that's why it is important. Uh, if you really wanted to read the JSON easily, you need to tell the flow that how that JSON is a structure. And you can do that by using the parse JSON. OK, so we get the content. We got the JSON well structured. Now the next thing that we need to do, we need to create the item in our SharePoint list. OK, so before we go to the next step, let me quickly show you the structure of the XML that I'm using and how that converted JSON is going to look like. So I, I'm just going to this uh, one online website where I can see the XML file that I have or the, or the JSON output that I'm getting. So I can just walk you through. So once you use that parse JSON, this is the output that I'm getting. If you look at the top, again, this is the information coming from XML. You don't need to worry about this too much. Then based on the structure of your XML that you are using, you will get something similar to this. In my XML, and if I can open that XML file, you see here I have a root. That's the first element of my XML. Then have I have the customer and the orders. So then I have 
two array in customers, I am getting all the customer information. And in orders, I am getting all the different order information. Each order has the shipping info, right? So my XML structure is like root. Then I have a customers with customer details. Again, repeating different customer here. Orders, order details. Each order can also have the shipping info. So that's the structure of my XML. Once we convert it to the JSON, I'm still getting the root. So that's the top level information. Then I have a customer and orders. Each customer has the customer information and each order has the order information and also shipping info. Now what has changed? If you look at the XML file, these are not in a proper array. But once you do the JSON, these are the proper array. So it is you can easily go through them, read them and understand them. So if I want to know all the customers, I can just pick this customers and I can, I'll get all the customer detail. And if I want all the order detail, I can just pick this order array and then I'll get all the order information. Okay, so that's was just a quick walkthrough. Based on your XML, this may look different, but just try to understand how it is converted so that you can easily read it. Okay, so the next step that we need, I'm going to use the SharePoint action here. And what we want, we want to create an item. Select the SharePoint URL and the list name. And as soon as you do that, it will present all the columns that the list has, so you can provide the information. And once I click on the title, I'm getting all these information that is coming from parse JSON. Now here I need to select the right field that I, that I want to be in my title. So in the title, what I want is the customer ID. And customer ID, if you look the order here, that's the customer ID. So that's the first information that I get under each order. So I'm gonna select the customer ID. So I'm gonna quickly update. Okay, so I updated all these different column and associated right field with each column so it can create. And as you know, this apply to each going through each order. So it's gonna run the number of time, number of orders that I have received in my XML and it will create a line item for each order in this list. Okay, so let me save it and upload the order file here. Okay, so the flow is running and if I come here in my SharePoint, you see here, right? All the information that we have in XML now using this flow has been extracted and updated into the SharePoint. Very easy, very simple. Uh, the only key part to, to learn or to understand is getting the XML and then also converting it to the JSON and also parsing it so that you can read it easily. Now let's take another use case here. Uh, let's say you don't want really to create these items that you're receiving in XML to the SharePoint, rather you want to send an email. And before sending email, you all also want to do some filtering. So in our customer order, if you look at the order detail, we are getting, uh, let's say, city also. For each city, we are getting what is the order boss. So let's say I want to send an email to someone for a given city. So how you can filter the data that you're getting from XML and also send that in email. So let me show you that also quickly. So for that, first thing that you need after the parse JSON, we're gonna use filter array, another action in data operation. Filter array, what it does, it take array as an input. That is what we are getting from this parse JSON and I'll, I'll show you what we are getting here. And based on your conditions or your query that you are passing, it will filter that information and give you filtered output, okay? So if you remember in our JSON, we have two array. We have a customer array and the order array. And that's what Flow is actually telling us, that parse JSON is having customer and orders, what you want to filter. I will say that let's filter order. And then it's gonna ask you, what is your filter criteria? So I'm gonna say, and all of this information is aut automatically coming in because we use the parse JSON. So I'm gonna say, use the city equal to, and I'm going to pick one name. So 
This filter array is going to filter the entire order, whatever number of order I'm receiving in XML, just for this particular city. Okay, let me save it. Okay, and I'm going to quickly test this with our previous run. Okay, completed. And if you see here, I got the filtered output. And now all of these order are just for that one city that we are trying to get data for. Now let's say you want to send this information in an email. Edit the flow. We're going to add a new action here. And this time I'm going to use create HTML table from we know that we are going to create an HTML table from this filter array. So select the body. So filter array is going to give you all these information. Because we want to create an HTML table for the entire filter data. So I'm going to select the body. Then it's going to ask me the columns. Do you want the column to be automatically created? What you need to do, you need to select the custom. Then what I can pick the name. So for example, customer ID. And then I'm going to say this is going to be the customer ID. My employee ID is going to be the employee ID here. And then keep going on and select all these different fields here. Okay, so let me complete that quickly. Okay, so I added these few fields. And then next, I'm just going to use another action for sending email. So Office 365 send email. I'm going to send it to myself. And in the body, I'm going to just use whatever I'm getting from this create HTML. Okay, so very simple. After parse JSON, I filtered that array. Then I created the HTML and use the send email. Let me test. Okay, so flow actually completed successfully. But before we go and check our email, let me show you the filter array. This we have seen, as you can see all the data in the HTML. You can see the HTML and how all the information is automatically extracted. And then email. Now, if I go to my email, you can see here, I'm receiving all the information here. That was the quick walkthrough of reading an XML file, storing it into the SharePoint list or sending an email. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Keep learning, keep sharing, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.